So last few videos we talked about the derivation of sine of 2x and cosine 2x. So today I'm back to tell you about the derivation of tangent of 2x. So derivation is really simple. If you just use the fact that tan of 2x, tan of 2x is equal to sine 2x over cosine 2x. So sine 2x over cosine of 2x, right? And then we use the identities for both, right? Just plug them in. So we can get that tan 2x is equal to 2 sine x cosine x over cosine squared x minus sine squared x, all right? So we got this. Now we have one of two options. First option is we can leave our expression like this and go home. Second option is to make this expression at least somewhat related to tangents by manipulating it a little bit. So since we're trying to find the value of tan of 2x, it's probably a good idea if our final answer had tangents in it. So we're gonna go with option two. So for option two, what we're gonna do is actually divide the top and bottom by cosine squared x. Because you can imagine, um, I'm writing a multiplication symbol here, I'll explain that in a bit. But if we divide the top and bottom by cosine squared x, you'll notice this cosine squared x will become a one. This sine squared x will turn to a tan squared x because I mean sine x or cosine x. And then a cosine x will magically disappear from up here and we'll get probably like a tan of x. Well, not probably, we will get a tan of x. So the reason why I'm writing a multiplication symbol is because instead of writing a division, I guess, I don't know, using weird notation like divide by cosine squared x on the top and bottom, I'm gonna say you're gonna multiply your top and bottom by secant squared x, right? Cause that's the same thing as dividing by cosine squared x on top and bottom. So we do that and we get, so this is our final answer basically, we get tan of 2x is equal to, all right, so we do the division now, right? Sorry about that. So we do the division. <clears throat> So we divide the top by cosine squared x, this cosine x is gone, and we end up with 2 sine x over cosine x, which is just 2 tan of x, right? And then, as I said, we distribute the secant squared x to both the cosine squared x and the sine squared x. Cosine squared x goes away, so we end up with a 1, 1 minus something. 1 minus sine squared x, so we get sine squared x over cosine squared x, that's just tan squared x. So we end up with 1 minus tan squared x. And that's our expression for tan of 2x, our double I angle identity for tangent function. So really, not, not a bad derivation, not too bad. It's really just using the identities for sine and cosine of 2x. So yeah, not that bad. And uh, stay tuned for more cool stuff.